the previous videos, we mentioned about the importance of providing sufficient information in the chapter of methodology for the readers to be able to repeat your word if necessary. An example is given to demonstrate the specifications of the material test carried out in order to determine the properties of the material used for the fabrications of the test specimens. If you are dealing with the steel and concrete, there are several technical insights that you need to take into consideration so that those material tests will yield you reliable results representing the properties of the materials. Now let us look at another example. This example is to show the specifications of the material, which in this case, the details of the material, which is the concrete, is presented. Let's say now you are doing an experiment which you need to fabricate the specimen and this specimen is made of concrete and you need to provide the details great specifications of the concrete which in this case for the fabrications of the test specimen the ready mix concrete from the local concrete mixing plant was used the design grade for the concrete is FCK equals to 25 Newton per mn square at 28 days. This concrete strength represents the strength of the cylinder concrete. Bear in mind that when you order the concrete from the local concrete mixing plant, when you specify the grade, you need to check whether their grade is defined by the Euro code or by BS. Some are defined by the cube strength, which if your intention is with the cylinder strength, you will expect your specimen not reaching to your intended strength, because normally the cube strength is slightly higher than the cylinder strength for the concrete of the same grade. You need to be careful when you order for the ready mix concrete from the local concrete mixing plant. And you need to specify the water cement ratio as this will govern the workability of the concrete. If you have any additive such as super plasticizer, then you will need to provide the relevant details and specifications. There will be maximum size of the aggregate, which is typically 20 mm, and you need to specify the design slump. And you need to specify the curing methods for your test specimens, as well as your cylinder for you to acquire the concrete strength, which in this case, the curing is done in moist for the durations of at least 7 days under the sheltered conditions with the ambient temperatures of plus minus 5% of 35 degrees Celsius. All these specifications should be provided for the readers to have an idea how do you prepare your test specimens. Some of those specifications can be used for you to check the quality of the ready mix concrete. In the case that not fulfilling the requirement, for example in terms of the workability, you might need to reject the batch of the concrete on the spot, not to be casted into your formworks together with your reinforcement in order to prevent the rejections of the entire batch of the test specimen. All this you have to take into the considerations. Let us look at another example in terms of the details of the specimens, which in your methodology chapter, you need to provide the information in the case that you are studying the concrete with different mixed proportions, then you will have to clearly specify the proportions in the mix, which in this case, 
the study is on the brick which is made of OPC ordinary Portland cement and there will be substitutions of other material such as palm oil boiler ash as well as palm oil clinker powder you need to clearly outline the mixed proportions for the reader to have an idea how you play around with the changing parameters in this case you know that this POBA and POCP are used to partially substitute the ordinary Portland cement in the mix the changing interval it will be by 10% for each type of mixed proportion also you have to provide information in terms of the numbers of the samples these are the tests that you need to conduct in order to determine the density the void content the water absorptions the compressions as well as the weight loss then you need to specify the number of specimens for each of these tests based on the numbers of specimen calculated you will know that how many specimens that you need to prepare in order to do the study sometime in the chapters of the research methodology the author provide you information regarding how they prepare the test specimen it give you an idea how the formwork was conducted fabrications of the formwork cleaning of the formwork laying a layer of coating to prevent the concrete stick with the formwork placing the reinforcement bar and making the reinforcement bar cage as well as providing you the internal design of the specimens casting of the concrete compactions leveling and smoothing the top surface of the member and then curing of the specimens it gives the reader a process of fabrication of the specimens it also proves to the reader that the artist is actually doing the works in the laboratory where the data and results are as a result of the actual testing instead of being made up out of nothing and then you might need to provide the information in terms of the test setup to demonstrate how the specimen are tested in your study program a clean schematic drawing will be required and you will need to do labeling for every single element within the test setup it provides information regarding how the specimen is being tested as well as how the measurements is done onto the specimens which in this case the researcher need to construct a testing frame which is meant to hold the hydraulic jack that impose load onto the specimen until the failure of the specimens the hydraulic jack system will consist of the hydraulic jack a pumping system which through the pressure given by the hydraulic pump load is applied onto the load cell the functions of the load cell is to record and measure the loops acting onto the beam and then this load induced by the hydraulic jack is distributed by using a distribution beam converting a single load into two point load acting onto the test specimen it also provides you information on the support conditions for the beam there are two rocker support at the end of the beam and we know that based on the support conditions it is a simply supported beam there will be LVDTs to measure the vertical displacement there will be load cell to measure the loads acting onto the beam 
probably there will be strength gauge within the reinforcement bar to measure the strength within the steel bar and then all these measurement instruments are connected to the data logger which is used to monitor and store the data you may require a laptop for you to record the data and to monitor the response of the specimen in real time for you to decide when to stop your testing as the failure of the specimen is identified based on what you have planned earlier three consecutive drops in terms of the load as recorded by the load cell you should provide a clear information regarding the experiment that you have conducted for your test specimen adequate information so that the readers can actually replicate your study or replicate your test setup to test their own samples probably of different designs and this test setup should be properly discussed and explained highlighting the precautions measures in order to minimize the errors in acquiring the data and results as for the instrumentations you have to provide adequate information regarding the brand and the model for every single types of the equipment or instruments such as the hydraulic cylinder which is this hydraulic pump which is this displacement transducer which are this the log cell which is this and the data logger which is this you might require camera of high resolutions for you to take a photo in terms of the crack patterns as monitored throughout the testing and for you to identify the mode of the failure of the specimen you need to provide essential information particularly in terms of the capacity maximum allowable stroke or the numbers of the channels for your data loggers this number or channel it will represent the maximum numbers of instruments that can be monitored and recorded at the same time if you have more instruments than the maximum numbers of the channels you might require an extension to this data logger for it to be able to monitor and acquire the loads or the data that you intend to measure you might need to also provide the data accuracy demonstrating the fineness of the data that the minimum interval should be for the readers to have an idea the level of accuracy of your measurement